1931, and worst blizzard in history of entire Southwest, blankets land of Navajos and Zunis with four feet of snow, and white men wade into highlands 40 miles south of Gallup, New Mexico, in vain and valiant attempt to rescue the trapped and freezing Indian tribes. But most of the red men are dead, frozen to death with their families. Searching the rocky wasteland and the rolling foothills under the shadow of Thunder Mountain, the Zunis and Navajos were gathering nuts, the chief source of income. Then suddenly blasts of cold winds brought snow and ice out of the heavens, and the tribes were trapped. These are the few survivors of the once great Zunis, who once dwelt in the seven cities of Cibola. Now with their depleted brethren, the Navajos, and with a few still living livestock, they are brought down from the snowbound highlands to the comparative comfort and safety of a McKinley County trading post. Food they receive isn't much, but it's better than nothing. And these surviving Navajos and Zunis are grateful to the white men who rescued them from death, though their hearts bleed for brethren lying dead on Thunder Mountain. <laughs>